Fidgety spin, fidgety spin, fidgety spin. So cool, science. Dear Crazy Chris, could you show me how to make a fidgety spin? Oh man, they always seem to jam up. And they always seem to easily break. Oh, would, would you look at, okay, no, check this out, okay, cause see, it broke while I was talking about it breaking. This has to be from POS Inc. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of these and it's not gonna jam up or break. Well, okay, maybe it might break, but you, well, it'll be a lot easier to fix, okay? You will need three pop bottles and some rubber bands. Whatever color you want your fidgety spin to be, that's the color soda bottle cap you want. Yeah, soda, not pop, Michigan. Pop is what happens to a balloon. Getting yourself that rubber band. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, these are not for snapping people you like. Okay, I'm just putting that out there. Start by strapping two bottle caps together with a rubber band. Make sure to reinforce your rubber band by wrapping a rubber band in between the bottle caps. Strap another bottle cap to the other side with another rubber band. Make sure to reinforce your rubber band by wrapping a rubber band in between the bottle caps. Go ahead and make whatever adjustments are needed. Now, take your phone out, pop your fidgety spin on top, and give it a spin. You'll know you got it right when you can tap it and it easily spins. Now that is so A to the T in the bag of C. So, why does your fidgety spin spin so well on your phone? And what does this all have to do with friction? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Since friction is based upon friction ridges of objects coming in contact as they slide against each other, the more surface area that comes in contact between two or more objects will create a higher coefficient between those objects, which means the less area in contact would create low coefficient. Area is not the only thing that creates high or low coefficients. Ease of resistance of what materials those objects are made from. For example, if we take two objects of the same weight, one a sled with a larger area and a cement brick, which would have a smaller area, the larger area of the sled would have a low coefficient compared to the smaller area of the cement brick, which would create a higher coefficient as those objects slide against the same surface. Area, as well as ease of resistance, are not the only things that depend upon friction coefficient. For example, if we spin your friction spinner on two different surfaces, we can apply more force to a high coefficient surface and get the same spin time as the friction spinner spinning on your phone, which has a low coefficient surface. You know, making your own fidgety spin right at home is why science is so wicked.